Our videos are intended for adult dinosaur collectibles, enthusiasts, and collectors. It's time for Giganotosaurus vs. Carnotaurus collection. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm so happy that our channel is finally back. Yes, we are back. So today, we will be taking a look at our Giganotosaurus vs. Carnotaurus collection. Okay? So I've actually handpicked all my Giganotosaurus and Carnotaurus figures into this box. Um, so let's just get started. Alright guys, so let's begin. Firstly, I just want to say a huge thank you to ND Dinosaur Reviews and also Collect Jurassic. Both of them have been really amazing for the past week, helping me out with my channel. So just want to say a huge thank you to them. Subscribe to their channels. Their channels are amazing stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at our first figure right here. It's actually a um, Giganotosaurus. This is actually a really, really beautiful one. It is actually sculpted after the DK Book of Dinosaurs, okay? You can check out the picture right over here. It looks very, very amazing. So you can, you can see it has a movable jaw. The paint look is amazing. I love the detailing on this. It's pretty incredible. Um, I actually got this from um, you know a China kind of um, online store, and um, yeah, it's it's really 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 good. Okay, the next figure. I'm not too sure whether you guys have already seen this. This is basically the mini Giga figure. Okay, um, I actually got this from eBay. I got it. From you know, from a blind box, but that seller actually sold me at a very, very expensive price because I thought that box was actually a huge box, but it was only one figure. But I'm very happy that we actually managed to get, you know, Giga from the first try. Really, really awesome stuff. Okay, so that's a really beautiful Giga. Next up, let's take a look at some of the Carnotaurus figures, okay? Um, let's take a look first from the Mattel line, okay? Um, we have one of the very first you know, Colonel Taurus figure from the Jurassic World series. This one looks really good. This is actually known as the um, Action Attack Colonel Taurus. I think that you guys should have seen this like so many times before, but it used to be one of my most favorite figures of all time because I think in terms of the accuracy, in terms of the paint work, in terms of the detailing, this has got to be one of the best ones out there, okay? Moving on, let's take a look at another Colonel Taurus figure. This is another really rare figure, guys. Really rare. This is actually a Carnotaurus demon um, from Jurassic Park, I think, all the way back in like 1993, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, this is actually very rare and very hard to find right now. I think it's almost impossible to actually find like a brand new one. It's almost impossible. Of course, when it comes to the appearance, it is not the best looking out there. But it is what it is, one of the rarest you know, kind of Taurus figures that you can ever find. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look. look. Um, let me just grab hold of um, one figure from this box and see you know, what we managed to get. We have another kind of Taurus figure. This is actually um, quite an old figure, but I think that this figure actually captures the kind of Taurus in one of the most perfect pose because kind of Taurus are actually very slender, very fast, Therapod. They are slender, they are small, they are fast. So I think this actually um, looks pretty accurate from a Conotaurus point of view. I mean, Conotaurus is known as the meat-eating bull. You guys should know that, you know, it is simply because it has two horns right on top of the head. While the Giganotosaurus is actually known as the um, giant southern lizard. It will be in Jurassic World Dominion for... for you know, majority of the time, I guess. Okay, now let's take a look at another amazing Giganotosaurus. This one right here is actually from W Dragon. It is a really nice one. I mean, if you take a look at this, it actually has a blind eye. Yes, this eye right over here is actually blinded. And the other side is actually fine. So this is a um, very nice diorama. I mean, it actually comes with a very nice diorama. You can actually put this onto the base. A huge collector's item, for sure. This would definitely look good in any shelves, guys. I mean, if you, in case you guys don't know, I actually put the Giganotosaurus at level 3 Colossus shelf. Alright. Um, next, let's take a look at what else we've got. Another Giga. Let's take a look at this. 
I rate this. I rate this one as um as one of the best Giganotosaurus figures out there. In terms of the accuracy, in terms of the detailing, in terms of the paintwork, this is absolutely amazing. This is actually from a brand. Um, what is the other? Where is the other pin? Oh my goodness, I think it's missing. Okay, so this is basically, um, you know, a figure from Vite. I think this has got to be. This has got to be Vite's best work. Yeah, that's right. Amazing stuff. I'm trying to look for the pin. One pin is actually missing. Oh my goodness! If that pin is gone, I will be in trouble because this Gigar it can't really stand well. Yep. And one fact about the Giganotosaurus is that it is actually bigger than a T-Rex. Yes, you will definitely see this in Jurassic World Dominion, which I'm so excited about. We are just roughly about, you know, probably about 60 days, you know, to it, okay? Next, let's take a look at the Conotaurus. Of course, we have a much bigger collection of Conotaurus as compared to Gigar. So you can see, uh, this is the, the one from Recur. It's a very realistic looking Conotaurus, but it can't stand very well i mean as usual okay i'm just trying to my best to like you know balance it hopefully it doesn't fall over okay let's move on and take a look at another bigger guys okay this one it's another really incredible one seems like there are a lot of realistic giganotosaurus figure okay check this out this is actually from pnso what a beautiful one yeah it looks really good or oh, is this like a Kakaru Kakaru No, this is Giga, right? Uh, hopefully I got this right. Yeah, I think so. Yep, it's a really beautiful one. I'm not sure whether um if this it's able to stand like well because from what I remembered, um this figure had some issues standing. Okay, it, it's standing pretty pretty stable right now. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, let's move on and take a look. And let's pick one figure from this box. How about this one? Okay, this one right here is actually a Conotaurus. Um, there are actually two Conotaurus. One from P from what is what is this? Nanmu. This is actually a green version. We do have a red version, which is not here with me. I'm gonna be showing you guys later on as well. Okay, I'll be showing you guys um the other Conotaurus and the other Gigar at level 1 gallery shelf. I'm gonna be bringing you there later on, okay? We will do like a qu quick shelf tour at level 1. So make sure you watch the entire video. Come on, come on, Conotaurus demon. Please stand properly, okay? Next up, let's take a look at another Gigar. Um, I'm trying to find the best one for you guys. I mean, not the best one. This one is pretty cute. This one is one of the latest one. Jurassic World Dominion um, Gigar, you can see. Oh, it actually has a scar right here, guys. You know, a red scar, a light pink scar right over here. And this is the um, Gujitsu um, Gigar. Very adorable, very cute. But what is very, very annoying is that it can't really stand very well. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, the Super Colossal Giganotosaurus. Oh my goodness, I actually, you know, put my camera in the wrong stand. So this is our latest Super Colossal Giganotosaurus. It looks very, very amazing, guys. I mean, if you ch check this out. But I don't really encourage you guys to get this figure. I mean, if you do not have enough space, I mean, wait for it. Wait for them to actually release like a smaller version, which is, you know, the size, which is kind of like similar to the um, Control and Conquer Conotaurus. I think that will be more, that will be easier for you guys. It'll definitely cost lesser as well. And, you know, this one is really huge. We had a hard time finding some space for it. Okay, so, yep, that's the Gigar. Let's take a look at another Conotaurus. How about this one? This one, it's a really, really cool figure, guys. This is actually from, um, you know, Disney Dinosaurs. Yeah, and I can't remember what is the name of this Conotaurus, but take a look at this. The detailing is amazing. It's very, very incredible. I love this. Oh! down it goes again okay for this it can stand very well too it keeps falling over so we just need to like you know lean it, lean it against another figure hopefully they can you know manage to support each other wow managed to do it that's pretty cool 
Okay, let's move on and take a look at another Giga, okay? How about this one? Have you guys seen this before? This one is really, really awesome. This one is actually a 2017 Safari LTD figure. Um, yeah, I remember 2017 was a fantastic year for Dan Surprise. We were actually doing Dan Surprise full time, yeah? Yep, but yeah, check this out. This is a beautiful figure. It comes with a base, okay? Looks really nice. I, I love this one a lot. So let me just put this behind. Okay, so there are basically only three Gigar so far from Jurassic World Dominion in my collection. So we have the Gujitsu one with this mini one, and we have the Super Colossal. I'm very, very sure they will release more and more Gigar figures, so I'm very, very excited. Okay, next, let's take a look at this. What do we have? Um, Colonel Taurus. Um, if you guys have actually watched Little Green Pea, this is actually Carnotaur, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this was actually like one of the villains um, in the Adventures of Little Green Pea. So, Adventures of Little Green Pea is basically, you know, um, you know, a short story of, um, you know, a baby T-Rex, you know, grow up to fight some villains. The villains were actually like a um, pack of um, Carnotaurus. Yeah, <laughs> very cool story. I... I did the video and it took me a long time to actually make that entire series. Um, I think some of them were already deleted from my channel. Okay, this one right here is um, a PNSO Colonel Taurus. It's a really nice figure. I mean, if you take a look at this, the amount of detailing and the paintwork, it's very, very cool. It's really, really amazing stuff. Okay, I'm going to be putting this one right here. Okay. Yeah, it can still stand, so I'm very, very glad. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's move on and take a look at other figures. How about this one? Another one of my favorites. It is actually a Carnotaurus Bone Breaker, guys. Bone Breaker. Yes, check this out. Um, how do we actually do this? Okay, you can actually push the um, hind legs backwards and the jaw will actually, you know, open at a very very exaggerated angle there's no way that you know a dinosaur can actually open its jaw at such a wide angle and you can actually close it easily yeah this is bone breaker very cool and there's like a missing piece right over here so yep um let's see whether we are able to put this i'm gonna put this box away because it's really taking up too much space let me put this right over here Okay, so that's the Carnotaurus Bone Breaker. I really love this figure a lot. It is actually a vintage, you know, Jurassic Park figure. Okay, let me take another Carnotaurus and show you guys. Okay, this one, it's a very cool one. This is actually from um, Takara Tomi. Um, you can see it has a scar on the right side of the snot, which means this is Carnotaurus Toro. How many of you guys have actually finished watching Cam Cretaceous? I've actually finished watching the entire series, but you know, I didn't really watch every single episode, you know, uh, attentively. So there are many details that um, I've for forgotten. Yeah. Okay, another one. This is from Schleich. This one is a really cool one. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to balance um, the legs, you know, against the tail as well. So yeah, let's try this. Okay. So this one, it's also from Schleich. It's a really weird one, I'm gonna say that it doesn't really look like a Carnotaurus because the face, the horns are just way too exaggerated. I mean, the horns are way too long, the face is kind of like too slender because for Carnotaurus, it's supposed to be slightly boxy. Yep. Okay, let's move on. Let's take a look at another Giga figure. This one, it's a... Um, okay, I'm not gonna show you this one first. I'm gonna show you guys my first Giga figure right here. I think this has got to be one of our very first Giganotosaurus figure. Yes, our first Giga, in fact, I think. Yeah, this is actually from Schleich. It's a very, very, very nice figure, but I think the finishing, it's kind of um, weird because they actually use some kind of like, uh, I'm not, not, not too sure what to call this, but it becomes like flaky over the time. But this is a one beautiful one, I'm gonna say. Really beautiful one. And um, they actually came up with more variations. More variations, and this is actually one of them. And this one definitely does not look that good 
but in terms of the material it is way better it is made of more solid material it does not have like you know like a rubber covering that will be become flaky easily okay so that's another giga let's take a look at another conotaurus um this is from the jurassic world line um yeah we have this um baby conotaurus it looks so adorable you're able to move the neck and there's a button for you to press there isn't any lights okay there's no light but i'm not too sure oh you can actually press this for the eyes to actually blink so yeah, I mean if you take a look at this, there's so much playability in this. Yeah, so this is actually um, a very very nice figure to have. Alright, let's move on and take a look at another Giga. Have you guys seen this before? I'm quite sure not many of you guys have seen this before. This is actually a Giganotosaurus from Mojo. Yes, it's not the best looking, it is not the most accurate, but it is a solid you know, huge figure, as you guys can see, it's pretty big. If you place it on the table, um, it can still stand, but not very, very well. I mean, it's like leaning towards the front already. I think after a few more months or so, it might probably fall over. Yeah, because sometimes the figures are made of a material which is kind of like, you know, they, they can warp um, after some time, which cause them to lose their balance. Um, yeah, like this one. It can't even stand. <laughs> okay, let's move on and take a look at more Conotaurus figures. I mean, I have an entire box of Conotaurus figures right over here, guys. Okay, I think this video is going to be taking a long time. Okay, what do we have? Um, a Conotaurus from Peppo. Yeah, this is actually a very, very realistic looking Peppo. One of my first, you know, Conotaurus figure. You know, I still hold a lot of memories for this figure. So if you guys take a look at this, it can actually stand. It used to be able to stand very well, but over the time, you know, probably my shelf isn't like even. So it kind of um, it kind of like falls falls over pretty easily. Um, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Right now, yeah, you have to balance it like perfectly, which is very very difficult. Okay, let's take a look at more contours because we are running out of um Gigar soon. Have you guys seen this? This is also one of the um, latest edition in our collection. This is basically a Zoom Rider. Um, I mean, it's kind of cringy to me. I mean, it's, it looks really weird having a dinosaur on a car, uh, but it's it's quite beautiful. I mean, this figure, the Conotaurus on top, actually looks quite decent. Decent detailing and decent pin look. Kind of looks kind of nice as well. Okay, let's take a look at another one. This one is actually a Safari LTD Conotaurus that looks pretty good, I must say, and um, it is actually relatively new, 2019 figure. You can actually feel the texture, it feels really rough, it feels very well detailed, pretty solid, solid figure. Not very, very happy with the face, I think the face can definitely be improved, but still a great figure. Okay, next up, this um some snap squats so we basically have three different conotaurus from the um, jurassic world line we do have a conotaurus you know generic version which doesn't have any scars and we have two cam cretaceous version one is a metallic version that is a, a bit more shiny on the surface the other one is a uh, one that is has a matte finish so three conotaurus snap squats Let me putting them right over here Okay, next. Um, why is there like a feather in the box? I have no idea how this feather actually gets in. Weird. Is there like a bird in my studio? I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay, we have two Giga figures right over here, and these are actually considered small sized figurines. Um, these are from Schleich. Okay, um, I wouldn't recommend you to collect them because I don't really like them myself. Yeah, I feel they look very inaccurate. They look too too small. I mean, probably they are like babies, I think. Yeah, probably babies. They look very malnourished. Yeah, they looks like, you know, they didn't really eat well and they are kind of like scrawny, very skinny because Giga are supposed to be like huge and bulky and stuff. Okay, let's take a look at... Um... Oh, yes, how could we have forgotten about this this has got to be one of the best one out there 
Okay, this is um, actually the um, PNSO Giganotosaurus. I mean, when it comes to the sculpt, it's um, not exactly very accurate because I, you know, usually, P uh, I mean, uh, Nanmu, they actually, you know, take reference from Jurassic World models, okay, and they sculpt their dinosaurs accordingly to it. And Giga is not out yet, but they have actually produced this one themselves. Looks good. We still have another one which I'm going to show you guys later on at our level 1 tour, so watch the entire video, okay? Let me see whether I'm able to put this on a table without it falling over because the stand is actually... Um, where's the stand? I think the stand is behind, okay? Yeah, it's able to stand very well. Let me remove this. This is actually my Acon remote control. Um, yeah, let's take a look at more figures. Have you guys seen this? This is the uh, Imagine Next Carnotaurus Toro. Yeah, it's pretty cute, I must say. I mean, it is not like a collector's must have. Okay, so we have two of them. This is the um, Carnotaurus, this is the Camp Cretaceous version. We also have the generic version right here, guys. Okay, this is the generic version. Okay, so the entire mechanism is the same, the sculpt is the same. Just that the paintwork is different. Yeah, even the scars are just painted on. Yeah. Okay, so that's two Conotaurus from you know Imagine Next. They they look kind of cute, I must say. I don't I don't you know uh yeah, I mean I don't disagree. They're definitely very adorable. But not the best collector's item, I must say, for sure. Next up, let's take a look at another Gigar. This is a juvenile Giga, juvenile Giganotosaurus. This is actually from Schlag. I think it actually looks like the um, offspring of um, this one right here. Okay, so we do have an adult Giga right here. Oh no no no! I, I beg your pardon. This is actually the offspring of this one. I mean, if you take a look at this, the the body patterns are definitely the same. But I'm not a huge fan of um this face right here. I feel it is very badly um sculpted yeah it looks very unrealistic and the the paintwork made it even more unrealistic it made the two the three parts really really too you know contrast yeah huge contrast over there so i don't really like it i would definitely prefer the sculpt to be you know that looks more like this this is definitely way better for sure so this is the um, adult giga Okay, but it's it can stand well, so um, it's not as annoying as some, <laughs> which keeps falling over. Okay, let's take a look at. I think we have ran out of Giganotosaurus, but we still have plenty of um Carnotaurus. Have I shown you guys this already? Carnotaurus Toro, Control and Conquer. We have two different variations. Okay, this is the um generic um Control and Conquer Carnotaurus. Tor not Toro. This is not Toro. Because it doesn't have the scar. Okay, but these two figures are amazing. I mean, if you take a look at the finishing, it looks very incredible. You can even see like the skin creases right over here, which looks absolutely stunning and amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the floor because I think we are running out of space. And we are just left with a couple of couple more mini figures before we actually move on to level one. Let me see whether I'm able to place this box right here, guys try okay so this is the box we still have a couple of um, minifigures this one is actually a minifigure of a Conotaurus roaring I think this is not from the blind bag I think this is from um, a set very very cool one you can see I really love this pose I think I like this more than this one right here this one it has a movable jaw but when it comes to the face sculpt it is definitely, you know, no match for this one. This one is way better. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Okay, and here is another version. This is the um, Conotaurus Toro version. You can see it has a scar on the right-hand side. Okay. Moving on, we have two Conotaurus. This one is actually from the Wave 1. Yeah, this one was really, really hard to get. You know, in fact, you know, there isn't like a Conotaurus in the Wave 1 in my country. So I had to contact like Toy Monster and they were happy to like send me one. 
So this one is called Taurus Toro. You can still see the scar. Okay, that's very cool. I mean, this is also called Taurus Toro. Okay. And our one of our last minifigure is actually this one from, you know, uh, McDonald's Happy Meal. So we, we were actually quite um, lucky to get it. Okay. Um, yeah. There's one more figure which I didn't bring down. It's actually this one. Check this out. This is actually the um, Carl Taurus that I have painted on my own. I call this the um, Arctic Carl Taurus. I think I call it like Carl Taurus Ice, guys. Yeah, Carl Taurus Ice. It's a really, really um, cool one. We took a long time to um, actually paint it. And um, I'm quite happy with the um, results of it, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be pausing the video right here. Uh, let's take a very quick tour at Level 1 Gallery to take a look at um, you know, the other Nanmu Studio Giga in Kano Taurus. Okay, let me see whether there are any more Kano Taurus in the studio that I've actually missed up. I don't think so. I think I've shown you guys every single one. Yeah. Let's go to level 1 right now, let me just pause the video Okay, let's go Okay, so basically this is um level 1 gallery And there are two figures inside that I want to show you guys Okay, so let me get the keys It's right over here Because the reflection is basically, you know Causing us to look at it, you know, in a very difficult view so this is basically our level 1 shelf You can see we have our you know, YouTube play buttons right over here Which I'm super proud of Okay, you have the Brachiosaurus from Nanmu right over here If you move down, you can actually see we have another Giga inside Okay, that is like um, a greyish blue Giga This T-Rex is amazing It's really really hurt me Amazing, I beg your pardon Okay, so yep, I've basically put all the carnivores over here looks very very incredible um where is the conno taurus okay the conno taurus is actually right over here okay so basically this row is dedicated to nanmu figures if you move down we actually have um we actually have some other figures that looks equally impressive we have the um w dragon um indoraptor that looks so 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 awesome the indominus rex which is right over here looks absolutely amazing um, you have the Baryonyx set, which looks so great as well. I think Nanmu, they have done an absolutely incredible job at you know creating all these figures that look so realistic. That's the Allosaurus, and that's the um, Ceratosaurus. Okay, so this row is also dedicated to um, carnivores. Moving down, you can actually see um, some... Okay, this is very dusty right over here. I, I need to clean this shelf. Um, yeah, we have some herbivores, you have the Sinoceratops, Triceratops, Apatosaurus, um, and um, this is Mosasaurus. I've actually used um, the stand from um, PNSO for this. And um, Ankylosaurus, Stegosaurus. Yeah, so this is basically level 1 gallery. The level 1 gallery shelf needs to be cleaned up. It's just way too dusty at the moment. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... This is level one shelf and uh, yeah, very, very good shelf. I, I think this is one of my most favorite shelf in the house. So um, yeah, I think that's all for our Giga versus Contouris video, okay? Let me know which one is your most favorite um, Contouris and which one is your most favorite Giganotosaurus figure. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.